But we definitely found the ring. I think we did too. This might be a bit controversial, bit of a hot topic. But today we are going engagement ring shopping. Do couples normally do this? Are we weird? I feel like it's a toss up. I feel like some people do, some people don't. Everyone has very strong opinions about it, which I can't wait to read in the comments. But I think for us, we just decided that it would be really cool to go through like creating and designing a custom ring together and something that kind of tells the story of us. I'm ready. Let's see what the best ring we can get for $24. My budget is maybe 30 bucks. Your dad jokes. Not funny. The internet loves my dad jokes. They do love your dad. I don't know, do they? So we have appointments at three different places today. They all kind of have something different to offer. The first one we're going to, I'm really, really excited about. This place is really cool. It's called The Diamond Guys. It's an Encino. And they actually have like a whole setup with diamonds that have magnets on the bottom of them. And then you can basically like swap out any shape or sized diamond with any different band. So you can like really get an idea for what you like. The main thing I would like to figure out today is if I am a white gold girly or a yellow gold girly. This is a really good example of like the white gold on top and then the yellow gold on bottom and I feel like technically white gold probably looks better on my skin tone but I really like the look of yellow gold rings so um we'll find out today don't worry it's normal it was, okay magnetically attached and you can't really break anything if I was a girl I would get yeah I'm curious actually the smallest ring possible what Okay, now I know he's joking. Wait, okay, this is really cool. This is what I was talking about in the car, but it's where you can like grab a band and then grab like any diamond. And it's a little magnet. That's so cool. Isn't that cool? That's um, it's a little big, Missy. I wonder if they have a discount clearance section. What do you think? That's so hard. I don't know. Right? I also don't know how much say I have. I would say you get like three percent. And I get 100% say. I don't think that math adds up math at all. No, I do like genuinely want your opinion. Like I want you to like love the ring too. If it'll be on you, I'll love it. I like this band a lot. I don't even know the terms for everything yet, but okay, okay, let's try this out. So oval. Wow, that looks, looks so pretty, awesome. Huh? Wow, that is sparkly. Holy cannoli. It looks really good on you. This is circle. Ooh, circle's kind of nice. I like circle. Ooh, that's a big ring. I don't think I like emerald cut, but let's just try it. So that's emerald cut? Yeah. I think I like circle the best so far. I think so too. I think definitely like the round or the oval. A little diamond ice cube. Do you think you could make the ring that big? I don't think your hand will be able to. <laughs> Whoa, that looks awesome. I'm actually a huge fan of that. Really? What do you think, babe? I don't like it. What? See, we I have like such different style. For me, if I was a girl, I'd want everything like super shiny. Like I'd super want it like- Super sparkly? Yeah, I'd want it so, bling. So you're gonna want to get the D colorless. Yes. Flawless wow. clarity. Excellent. Excellent cut and probably three carat. Yeah, I'd be an expensive uh, girlfriend shop. You shopper. think so? Okay. Because a second ago you were about to ask him where the clearance section is. So. Sweetheart, that was a dad joke. I love the round. It's so sparkly. What have we learned since we've come here? What have we learned? I've learned my girlfriend has expensive taste. You've known that for two years. I know. Definitely round or oval okay. and probably white gold or rose gold. Okay. Three carat. Three carat. Also, I really want to look at guys rings because there's a really good guy ring selection here And I have no clue what he wants because he also has no clue what he wants. It's true. Look at this. It's like wait. a diamond Those are for yeah. women, but they'd probably fit your finger. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, this looks a little girly. He yeah, has dainty. Kind of a vibe though. Oh, it is a little femme. Cover did something really cool for Alex's ring It's like a thick yellow gold band and then it has like a row of diamonds on top And that was really fun because he likes something a little more flashy. I don't think I like flashy. If I was a guy I think I would get something like this. Really like I kind of like the like black. I think I want like a shiny silver, just like yeah. very basic, medium, thick band. I think that'll look good because the really thick bands look kind of silly. Let's try this one. Cool. Wow. I feel like we just got married. Look at that. Actually, I like this. I like this. That like width? Yeah, that width more. Okay, so that's 3.5 millimeter. Okay, first spot down. I feel like we both got a really good idea for what we like. But I still haven't seen anything where I'm like, oh, that's the ring. I don't know if you've ever had that like gut 
butterfly, sparkly feeling before. This is really silly, but I'm just gonna be violently honest right now. The first time I ever got that feeling is like when I put on a prom dress, like freshman year of high school, and I was like, <gasps> like, oh my God, this is the dress. Cheesy, I know, but that's the feeling I'm looking for with like an engagement ring. That's the feeling I look for with like a lot of things in life. I'm really hoping that one of the spots we go today will have something like very, very unique. But now we are headed to Peter Norman in WeHo, and we'll see how that goes. Yes, we will. Okay, I'm convinced that my good karma in this world is parking meters because every single time, like without fail, when I pull up to a parking meter, my parking is already paid for. But I think it's good karma because I always put extra money in the meter so that after I'm gone, someone's meter is paid for. I don't know if that makes sense, but it happens to me every time and it trips me out and I feel like it's just, it's a good karma thing. We don't laugh over so that was a fail. We called ahead and asked if it was okay if we're filming for YouTube. And I'm like, we'll be super careful. We won't film like the cameras or any security things. And they said yes, but then we were filming and like the owner came out and he was like, no filming, no pictures. And I was like, okay, like I totally understand. But we still tried on a bunch of rings and tested it out. Nothing was really like my style or like speaking to me a lot. So I'm really excited to go to this third place. I'm definitely getting more of an idea of what I like. I just feel super awkward because like I feel like I did a no no like I feel bad but I called ahead but yeah he was not happy with us we're gonna go to the third place but first lunch we went to air one I got general Sal's orange orange no general Sal's chicken white rice and sweet potato fries and justice is already indulging in his short rib burrito yeah, my burrito Mm, crunchy. Yum. Mm -hmm. I was doing it. I don't think I could survive outside of the LA area because I feel like it's one of those cities that has the most like celiac friendly options and like dairy free options, sugar free options. Like it's just nice, you know? Autoimmune girlies unite. It'd be so weird if you gave me a bite of that. Mm -hmm, I'll bite. Mm. I'm never gonna get tired of you doing that. You've been doing it for two years and I still love it. That right. is some good chicken. We're gonna pound this food and then we're going to our last and final ring shopping destination, Brilliant Earth. And then we're gonna go home and and I kind of want to do like a little quiz with each other. See how well we know each other. I think that would be fun. I'm going to win. Um, but yeah, I'm going to grub now. My boyfriend is such an iPad kid. I need something going while I'm eating. That's really sad. At 2 should... a.m. I was born in 2000. I didn't know his age when I met him. What's the biggest stone you guys have ever done? I mean, yeah. someone came in earlier looking at a nine. Main stone or like in total? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So it's possible. So it's possible. Not for my wallet, but it's possible. <laughs> I really like that one. That's... Really? Because it's like silver? Or... I like the everything about it. I like how it's white gold. I like how there's flowers coming up. Leaves and stuff? Yeah. Ring shopping complete. There's... I hate that noise scared me. I didn't know what that was for a second. We ended up going to a fourth place and I'm not gonna show it because we definitely found the ring. I think we did too. I had my little like tummy, my, my tummy, my tummy, my tummy butterflies like <gasps> bringing tears to my eyes. Like that sparkly moment that I was talking about earlier. Like I had that moment with this specific ring and I was like, that's the one. But I was so excited and it was a really fun journey. It was a really fun process. And I'm really glad that we got to bring you guys along and document it. I thought it'd be fun. I thought it'd be fun to do a little I thought it'd be fun to do a little quiz and ask each other a bunch of hard questions. Okay, I thought it'd be fun now to do a little quiz and we both came up with a bunch of hard questions for each other just to see if we can answer any of these questions slash how well we know these like deep things about each other. Well, and I guess they're not deep, but yeah. And this will determine if we're ready to get engaged, right? Why do I feel like you just like want me to wait for two years? Like, why do I feel like you're torturing I keep you on me? your toes. It could be anywhere between the next 30 minutes and seven years from now. Okay, we're moving on to the Q&A portion of this video. The dogs are gonna be a little crazy just cause we just got home and it's so hot outside that we have to wait until it's like 11 p.m. to walk them. So just don't mind them. Huh, I'm excited. I thought of some good, good, some good questions. I thought of better questions. We'll see about that. I'll go first. What was I wearing on our first date? You were wearing a dark blue button-up shirt with light colored pants. 
What kind of light color? Like a white cream. And then you had those like Louis Vuitton glasses that you keep losing. And a silver chain. That's exactly what I was wearing. Do I get points for accessories? No. But you pass this round. Let's go. What would my death row meal be? Because I was thinking about this the other night and I recently updated it. You recently updated it? <laughs> did you did you tell me about this update? I will accept multiple answers. Keep in mind though, I have food allergies now. Is your death row meal abiding to the allergies or not? It does abide to it. Abi your death row meal, like, you wouldn't I, cheat on your diet? I don't want to go out with a tummy ache. I like want to spit it out because don't like, spit out. you're going to be guess. mad if I do. I am going to be mad. Don't do it. Because you should know this. Would it be that pasta that you made yesterday? That would be one of them. Okay. One of them. How many Ex are there? Acceptable answers were... Pesto pasta, truffle gnocchi. I was gonna say truffle gnocchi, but it has gluten. There's gluten free options. I didn't know that. I mean, honestly, like I thought about it and I feel like if I was really going out, I would take the gluten, but they'd have to kill me five minutes later because I don't want to deal with the symptoms before I die. What's my dad's middle name? Daniel. Nope, Gene, like Eugene Krabs. <laughs> It's okay. Shoot. Point justice. My, my bad. What's my mom's maiden Ooh, last name? I knew you were gonna. I knew you were gonna say this. It's something <laughs> I've told very, you before. I know. I know. It's something very ethnic. It's Dutch. I know. It's like two words. It's like Van something. Van Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> my mom's. <laughs> Watch Hold on, Van. Oh my gosh. Van Gorder. All right, at least I got 50% of that. I'm happy oh, it's your with turn. That. What's my favorite number? You ever told me this? Probably one. Probably one. You have a great memory when we're fighting, so you should have a great memory when it comes to my number. I don't know why I want to say like three. That's an acceptable number. Or 13. Number. That's also an acceptable. It was like one of them. You know? 13 mostly, not three. Okay, I was thinking 13 first, but then I was like, am I adding the one in for fun? When are you proposing? That's a trick question. <laughs> Not even your mom would know that. Why? Your mom might know, <laughs> but she's not gonna tell you. Okay, I'll alter my question. What's your timeline? I said this earlier, but any time between 30 minutes from now in seven and a half years. What is wrong with you? I want to make you on your toes. Like, I don't want you to know when I'm going to do it. I'm, it's going to be when you least expect it, though. Oh my God. It's gonna, or I'm going to start gonna a big like, fight and then you're going to be like don't, crying. Don't do that. And then, don't do that. And then it's going to, it's going to happen. I don't want to have like bad memories of that day. Well, it'll, you will forget about what we were fighting about the moment I, I give you that really tiny ring. What would my perfect vacation look like? Hiking, going to the beach, eating like a lot of sushi. <laughs> yeah. Not getting a massage. No massage for me. I feel like a mix of like activity and relaxation and then probably like time to get work done. <laughs> you don't like taking time off. You only missed sauna and cold plunge. That was the only thing you missed. Oh my bad. He's, he's, <laughs> Dude, not he's not camera shy at all. The dogs are taking over this interview. <laughs> what do we do? I had a feeling this might happen, but they need love and attention, so. How many kids do I want? You wanted three, but lately I've been talking about five, six, seven, eight. 18 or 19, yeah. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't think that's possible. What would my dream wedding be? We've talked about this a few times. We're deciding between the US or a destination wedding. So just for the thought experiment, I'm gonna say like somewhere in like south of France or Italy. Really unique experience things. Me and you at the altar by ourselves um, and the person marrying us like it's like, it has to be sentimental. It can't just be like some random Joe Schmo on the street. Yeah. Dogs have to be in the wedding some, somewhere. Maybe, in, you know, they have seats somewhere. Good job, wow. What is my favorite trait about you? Oh, snap, dog, I don't know. Oh wait, maybe I know this. Like how much I care about other people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She'll like step on an ant and be like so sad for the rest of the day. And just be like, I can't believe I just stepped on that ant. And I have to tell her it's gonna be okay. He lived a long life. You don't know that. We have to just fake it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that's my favorite quality about myself because it gets me hurt a lot, but that's sweet. What's my ring size? We just did this. It's five, uh, it's like five and a quarter. Yeah. Exactly. I was, I was just checking. What is my favorite hug stuffed animal? The giraffe. Is it because it's bi? <gasps> oh my it is probably the giraffe. Hey, it's not it, a toy. I think the giraffe's my favorite too. You say that about every hug that comes out. You say it's your That's favorite. That's not true. That's not how I felt about the avocado. Ooh, what's your least favorite hugs? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Probably the bear. I'm actually 
Good heavens. I'm actually working on redesigning the bear right now and I think we're gonna come out with like a different Okay. A different version of the bear. How old was I when I had my first kiss? Pretty old, weren't you? No. This is like 16. Less. Up or down? Like 13? That's young. That's not young. Junior high. First... Everyone's making out in junior high. Does okay, at on least, the cheek count? At least where I went to school. No, that does not count. I think mine was like, when I was like 14 or 15. <laughs> That's not like older. That's like the same age. It's high school though. Okay, well, babe, thanks so much for spending the day with all of us. No problem, babe. I, I had fun today. I had a blasty blast. I had a good time. All those wedding rings looked really good on you. It was, oh. a, it was a fun day. Yeah, you wanna you wanna put a ring on my finger? Make him wanna marry me. How does the song go? 